Uh, and it goes a little something like this. It's a giant creature with a tail. Here, I'll draw Piglet in for scale. Oh dear. Its hide is like a shaggy rug, its face a surly, ugly mug, with two sharp horns atop its head, between a mop of hair that's red. And everybody gasps. <gasps> and in its nose a ring of gold, it smells of monkey's feet and mold, its toes are black, its fur is blue. I swear that all I tell you is not made up. The Baxen, the Baxen, the Baxen, the Baxen, oh no! What does a Baxen do? Yes, Owl, what does a Baxen do? Hmm, what does a Baxen do? I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, and now I will tell you. They sneak into your library and scribble in all your books. The Baxen, the Baxen, we're afraid of the Baxen. <laughs> when decorating your Christmas tree, they tangle up all the hooks. The Baxen, the Baxen, we don't like the Baxen. They spoil the milk, they stop all the clocks, they use their horns to put holes in your socks. The Baxen's the one who's been putting holes in our socks. Um, and then I'm going to skip to the end. Okay. Okay. Um, they, they decide to they come up with a plan on how to catch the Baxen. And, um, and, uh, um, and... It, this involves getting all these things that the Baxen wants to destroy and digging a pit and having them having the Baxen follow the items and fall in the pit. And so they're off to, to uh, the, all, all the other characters are off to, to find these items. And they said, we'll search by the sun and the light of the moon and if everything goes well, we'll be back soon. And Al says, back soon. Back soon. It sounds like Baxen. Back soon. Oh well, good luck everyone. Ha, ha, ha.